Hi everyone, this is Mr. Alfonso, back with another physical education video for all of you. Last week we had a look at a target game called Bocce. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out on the Abraham Lincoln Elementary School web, uh, YouTube page. This week, I figured we'd change gears a little bit and look at a type of baseball that we can play with just two people. So to get started, let's have a look at the professional version of the game. Baseball is considered a striking and fielding sport, which means that one team is trying to hit the ball, and the other team is trying to collect that ball wherever it goes. Other striking and fielding games include softball, kickball, t-ball, and cricket, but for today we're using baseball as our example. The game is played on a field, often called a baseball diamond because the bases are arranged in, well, you guessed it, a diamond. The fielding team has nine players. A pitcher, a catcher, a player in the first base, second base, shortstop, and third base positions, a left fielder, a center fielder, and a right fielder. All of them are working together to get the ball quickly and stop the other team from scoring points. If I haven't totally confused you yet, let me try to explain what the game looks like. The pitcher is going to throw the ball to the batter, that's this player over here, and the batter will try to hit it out into the field with their bat, and if they do, they'll try to run towards first base. Now the race is on. The other team is going to try to pick that ball up, and they'll try to throw it to first base. If the ball gets there first, then the batter's out. If the batter gets there first, then the batter's safe. Of course, the play might change a bit if the ball gets hit high in the air or far out into the field, or the batter might try to run to second or third base. It's even trickier if there's already runners on bases. Ah, you know what? Forget it. I think I just confused myself. Let's start over. You need three skills to play today's version of baseball. Throwing, catching, and batting. Let's take away some of the confusing parts of the game and just work on those three skills. The first thing we'll get rid of are the bases, which means the batter doesn't have to run and the fielders don't have to worry about where to throw the ball. Next, let's put a target near the batter. For our game, we used a soccer ball, but had better luck with an empty chair. A bigger target makes the game a bit easier. Of course, we can't play without players. Someone to throw the ball, and someone to hit it. After that, the game isn't so complicated. The thrower pitches the ball to the batter, and the batter tries to hit it. Then the thrower will go pick up the ball wherever it lands. They'll take aim, and they'll try to hit that target that we set up. If he or she misses, the batter gets a point. But if the pitcher hits the target, the two players switch positions. If you have three or more people, the extra players can help the pitcher out in the field. Let's see what the game looks like. also came up with an indoor version of the game. We used our hand as a bat, a crumpled up piece of paper as the ball, and a clipboard for a target. Of course, we found a safe place where nothing would get broken or damaged. Don't forget to thank your teammates for the game, and see you next time. 